Hi. So in tarot, the major arcana represents the fifth element, aether. And in the minor arcana, five represents a challenge. So looking at five in the major arcana, we see the hierophant. And um, so the triple cross represents the tree of life. And on the feet, we see the two X's. And so we see the two X's here on the world card. Uh, this is like the Ouroboros, the dragon eating its tail. And these outer symbols are for the astral signs. And so she's got these two spears and the number three draped over her. So the number three is the Empress. And so she's got the Venus um, sign on her shield. And Venus in Greek mythology is Aphrodite, the foam risen. So you see um, her crown has the 12 stars. Okay, so there's the wheel of the year. And the 12 stars are like the 12 astrological signs of the astral jet. So the black sun projects the aurora borealis through the well of Urd up to the stars and it showers down. And so the etymology of aurora is dawn and the proto-Germanic root of dawn is dagas. And dagas is the light of consciousness and the toroidal vortex vortex <laughs> and isa is the axis mundi um that goes through the center making the double bladed axe which is the laborious and the house of laborious is the labyrinth so here on the death card uh, so death sigil has the white rose with the black background so black for the void and white rose for um, purity. And so if you notice, this is the Centennial Edition deck that comes in the commemorative set. So it's got the same white rose on a green background here. And this is because like the Well of Urd is at the center where the Aurora Borealis, the green astral light. Um, projects out. So, uh, have a cool day.